okay, our lesson which is finding the equation of circle given this condition, a tangent line and a center line. And then the tangent line here is 3x plus 4y equals 12 with a point of tangency which is 2 and 2. And of course, our center line where the center lies is x minus 3y equals 5. As you all know that when we consider the equation of a circle, all we need to have is the coordinates of your center and the length of your radius. But for the given here, uh, we only have a tangent line and a center line. So what is the relationship of the two? Okay, um, we all know that once the center and a point of tangency is connected, it is called now a, it, it would form now a perpendicular line. So how do we get now our uh, perpendicular line? We are going to use our tangent line. Um, our tangent line, 3x plus 4y equals 14, all we need to do for the perpendicular is simply interchange the numerical coefficients of your x and y, which is now 4x, okay? And then, for your value of y, uh, a numerical equation of y is 3y. Okay, then of course, just an opposite sign. Equals, we don't know yet. But for the value of this, we simply substitute your point of tangency 2 and 2 to your x and y. So we come up now with 4 times 2 minus 3 times 2. Simplifying it further, 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 times 2 is 6. So simply... 8 minus 6 is we have 2. So therefore, our perpendicular line now is equals to 4x minus 3y equals 2. This is now our perpendicular line to be used. Now, considering our center line and then the perpendicular line, once it is in, uh, then their intersection is said to be the center. Okay, so all we need to do now is consider the center line from the given. Our given from the center line is we have um, x minus 3y equals 5. So all we need to do is to rewrite this one, x equals 3y plus 5. How did we arrive with that? All we have to do is we have simply transposed your negative 3y on the other side. Such that we have here the new equation of your center line which is x equals 3y plus 5. Why? We are going to substitute this one to your perpendicular line. Your perpendicular line a while ago is 4x minus 3y equals 2. So all we need to do is simply substitute your x with that value. Okay, so 4 times 3y plus 5 okay, minus 3y equals 2. Again, where did, where did we get this one? Simply we use our perpendicular line substituting the value of your center line which is 3y plus 5. Because we would like to know the intersection of the two, okay, through substitution method. Simplifying it further, 4 times 3y, distributive property, we come up now with 12y. 4 times 5 is positive 20, okay, minus 3y equals 2. Simplifying it further by combining like terms, so 12y minus 3y is simply we have 9y. Okay, considering now our constants with the other side, just transpose that one. So we have 2 minus 20. Okay, after that, simplify also your constant, which is 2 minus 20. We have 9y equals negative 18. To solve for the value of your y, divide both sides by 9. Okay, there you have. We have to cancel. Therefore, our value, value of your y is negative 2. Okay, we are now ready to solve for the value of your x. To, to solve for value of your x, all we need to do is simply use our center line. Our equation for center line is x is equals to 3y plus 5. And all you need to do is substitute now the value of your y. We have solved a while ago which is negative 2 to your y here. So we come up now with 3 times negative 2 plus 5. So, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 5. So, simply we have negative 1. Our value of your y is simply negative 1. And then your value of your y is negative 2. And we all know that the intersection or your values of your x and y becomes now our center. So, the center of the circle is negative 1, negative 2. Now that we have the center, we consider this time there 
length of your radius. So, how do we get the length of your radius considering our distance formula? Okay, so our distance formula is uh, we have here um, from the formula considering the center and of course the point of tangency. Okay, so we have the center and then the point of tangency. You get the length of that or distance that will become now our radius. So, we, we are going to make that um, your center would be your your point sub 1 and then your point of tangency with your point sub 2. So we have negative 1, okay, minus 2, square it, plus negative 2, minus 2, then square it, okay. Then simplifying it further, negative 1 times neg uh, minus 2 is simply negative 3, square it, and so it have 9, negative 2, minus 2 is negative 4, square it, so we have 16, okay? So, therefore, 9 plus 16 is equals now to 25, okay? And extract it, therefore, when we extract, our R is equals to 5. Therefore, our um, radius is equals to 5 units. So, we have now the center, we have now the length of your uh, radius, all we need to do for the last step is simply substitute from our standard form, which is, okay, we have here the standard form, which is centered at hk, substituting your values of your h and k from the center, and then of course your r, which is 5. So, we have x negative times negative 1 is positive 1, square it, plus negative k times negative 2 is positive 2, okay. Then square it. Then of course your r is 5. Then square it also. Okay. All we need to do now is to expand for the general form. Okay. So the, uh, I assume that you know already how to expand binomial, square binomial. So we have here x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then square your y plus 2. One to the square is simply y square plus 4y plus 4. Then this time, your 5 square is to be written on the other side. So 5 square is 25. Then of course, once you have uh, transposed this one, it becomes negative. Then equate to 0. Because we all know a general form is always equated to 0. Simplifying it further by arranging our terms. So we have x square plus y square. Okay. Then plus 2x. Okay, there you have. And then plus 4y. Okay, then all the constants, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 25 is negative 20, equals 0. This is now our equation of the circle from the given problem a while ago or condition is given the tangent line and a center line. Okay, so this will be your, uh, our equation of the circle. So again, thank you.